and welcome back to The Watchmen. What did the Middle East, the Holy Land, look like in the early days of Christianity? Well, we paid a visit to St. George's Church in Madaba, Jordan for an up-close look at a legendary and ancient mosaic map which brings to life the Holy Land and the early days of the church dating back to the 6th century AD. Our good friend Mayrav Mack gives us a tour of St. George's Church and that legendary mosaic map. Take a look. especially to see this amazing mosaic. Now, it's not just a mosaic, this is also, this is a map. In fact, it's one of the oldest maps in, in history um, of this region. And we are looking, you can see that it's literally on the floor. And if I dare move part of, look, it's, I dare move part of this rugs, it continues. It goes all the way across from one side to the other. And the reason is that this is a real church. Um, it's active. In half an hour, there'll be people coming here to pray. Uh, in fact, they're having a funeral service. So we're really, really lucky today because normally this church is heaving with people and they are soon going to start a service. But, um, and, and during service, they will roll down all the carpets um, and when it's not in service, the carpets um, are rolled up so we can see the part of the map. This map is, from, is dated from the sixth century and um, this is really shortly before um, it was conquered by the first um, Muslim um, armies that arrived in the area. And what we see in here, for example, is not just Jerusalem that stands here in the center, but also if you look, you'll see other cities. We have Jericho here, we have Ascalon and, um, and Gaza um, represented here as well. Right at the top, you'll see the Dead Sea, and you can even see that people are um, some figures, I'll just climb over, nobody's looking, right? Um, you can see just some figures in, in the boats here, but they were, de they were defaced um, at some point, probably during, um, during the Muslim um, rule of the area. We're talking about a sixth century um, map of the region when the whole land here was, um, was Christian and full of um, monasteries, monks, they populated, they populated the desert, just the monasteries of the desert are known to have had approximately 5,000 um, monks living in them. But we're looking at a map, as I said, one of the oldest maps in the world, and um, it's oriented to the Orient, so this is east here, and right at the center of it is this piece of showing Jerusalem. And when we look at um, Jerusalem, you can see the walls going around, the cardo in the center, and right at the center of the map is um, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And this depicted as one of the most, um, the clear maps um, Christian map of the city. I mean, obviously, the Holy Sepulchre is not in the center of Jerusalem um, physically, but it is um, in many ways a depiction of the ideal Jerusalem and the ideal Christian map of the Holy Land. Um, so there is a play here between um, realism and idea, um, but this is very much a map of the area and it shows part also of where we are today, which is in the Transjordan, across the Jordan, on the eastern side of the Jordan River. We can see the Jordan River right over here with some fish in the water, the baptism site, and somewhere in the hills, 
would have been Madaba, where we are today, only just that um, this part is now missing from the map, um, part of it, as you can see, were ruined at various, um, at various periods. This would be Damascus Gate over there, and we have the whole cardo here, and the beautiful, they're trying, whoever did this map was trying to show us that um, this is um, um, how glorious Jerusalem was in the sixth century. So he, he, even the street itself, he was trying to show us that it's, it was, um, that you had those pillars on the side and roof on top of it. So this is the width of the, just the main card of Jerusalem. And it's all leading, obviously, to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And in the church, you see, he was trying to show how you climb into it. There are one, two, three, four stairs leading to three gates. And then there's a the church and right behind it, a dome. And here you can see that it's beautiful yellow, the uh, dome over the tomb of Christ. This map tells us that um, the whole area was the heart of Christian land and that the Christian population that lived here probably continuously from the time of Christ and up till today. So if we come out of this church and talk to some people in the street, some of them would, might tell us, yes, my family has been here. I don't know exactly since when, but forever. And literally meaning that they had been here since the time of, maybe since the time of Christ. Thanks again to our good friend, Mayrav Mack, for that up close look at the legendary mosaic map in St. George's Church. Madaba, Jordan, folks, an amazing place. Well, up next, they are one of the most mysterious peoples of the New Testament period. I'm talking about the Nabataeans. Our good friend Danny the Digger Herman is back to bring us the inside story of this ancient and powerful people. It's the Watchman, it's Kufi, only right here on TBN. Stick around.